You might have caught our last video about why you should definitely invest in an exhaust system for your ride. Not only does it make the sound glorious when you open that thing up, but it's going to make your bike lighter and more powerful too. But the real question comes when it's time to pull the trigger. What brand to get? Exhaust come in all flavors and styles, and truth be told, there's a minute difference between all of them. Fanboys of brands will swear by the increase in power over another pipe, the difference in looks, or just the sex appeal of a given pipe or another. But again, the real difference between these systems is going to come down to personal preference, quality of sound, and looks. Because there's not going to be a 10 horsepower difference from one pipe to another, it just doesn't work that way. Maybe between a given pipe you might see 2 or 3 horsepower tops, and honestly, you just won't notice that unless you're in a truly competitive environment. Now, hello, it's your sweet dude, shabby cube, screaming pubes, yammy new, back once again to deliver the motorcycle knowledge you've come to know and crave. If you haven't seen our video breaking down why an exhaust system makes sense for a bike, well go and check that out, because this video will assume that you understand why you'd want one, and the differences between something like a slip-on versus a full system. Today we're going to do the unholy task of trying to suss out which aftermarket system is best. It's a difficult task, but someone has to go up to the chopping block and try to decide. Here's some factors we're going to be looking at to determine the winner, because there is certainly a winner. Our factors will include the sound. Now this, other than looks, the most subjective, however we will listen to as many different systems as we can to get a feel for what these exhausts sound like. We will be using three bikes as our test mules for sound, a Yamaha R1, a Suzuki SV650, and a Ninja 300. That way we are covering a variety of sounds including a crossplane inline 4, a V-twin, and a small displacement parallel twin. We are looking strictly at full systems today, and if we can't find an example then we won't include it. The other stipulation is how the sound was recorded. Sometimes Sometimes a cell phone camera just does not do any justice for the exhaust system, so we're going to try to find some high quality clips as well. We're also going to be looking at the volume of sales, which is one of the easiest ways to offload my ranking to try to find how popular each given system is. It stands to reason that the more units of a given exhaust that has been sold, the more quality it is. Since aftermarket motorcycle exhausts are pretty expensive, they're not like Big Macs in that there would be the best burger sold. Exhaust buyers are very discerning and likely go through a huge amount of research before deciding to pull the trigger on a system. Perceived quality. This one is tough too, but we will scour reviews, average ratings, and more to try to determine the perceived quality of a unit. It stands to reason that the more expensive a system is, the more perceived value it has. However, we're not just going to simply rank the most expensive exhaust either, although that's a pretty good idea for a video. Performance. While this one is very subjective, based on dynos, each bike, and etc., we can try to understand which exhaust system is going to give us max gains because much like pumping iron in the gym, this metal is all about clocking in gains and making power. Remember while we did try to rank these based on some objective measures, at the end of the day, this is all my opinion. So if you hate what I'm saying, drop a comment and let the world know. With all that being said, a fun fact I'd like to point out is that many of these top systems are made in Italy. Weird. Maybe there's something in the water that makes for Italians making glorious exhaust pipes. A few of them are also manufactured in the good old US of A, and one is from the UK as well. So without further ado, turbo busa or die, you should subscribe, I'm giving away bikes, and I sure do appreciate likes. Alright, let's do this. Coming in at number 7 and at the bottom of the pack is Scorpion Exhausts. Now, one thing I want to say is that no matter what system you go with, these are all high quality items and you will likely enjoy the sound they make on your bike. But, I gotta say, the UK brand doesn't score very high on our list for ratings or for the sound. Quite a few clips I found it to be a little tinny, not quite as exciting as the other exhausts on this list. Their About Us page is a little questionable as well as they explicitly call out being not mass produced in the Far East, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Scorpion prides itself on its motorsport heritage, much like other exhaust manufacturers, but the proof is in the sound. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Coming in at number 6, we have Two Brothers Racing. Two Brothers are known for their very close involvement with several motor vloggers, such as Jake the Garden Snake, for example, with his own variant for the FZ07, which is super cool. I can appreciate a company that is willing to connect with YouTubers since, hey, your audience's attention is 100% here. Triumph, please, let's talk. I know you're out there. Let's chat. And they have a reputation for being some of the loudest exhaust systems you can buy. The thing is, though, loudness does not always equal a great sound. I find the Two Brothers exhaust to be a bit too much, and I don't care for the quality and the tone. Let's take a listen.
Coming in at number 5, we have none other than Graves Motorsport Exhaust Systems. Graves is synonymous with Yamaha. Any way you slice it, Graves is best known for producing systems for Yamaha motorcycles. Their R1 system is extremely popular with enthusiasts of the mighty crossplane engine, and they provide support for the R6 and even the R3 as well. The Graves loses some points on our ranking, however, for the volume of sales, as they just don't hit as hard on the market as the other players we'll see later on on the list. However, install a Graves on your ride and you'll be sure to have a good time. They have more of a bassy profile to my ear, but again, this could be due to the quality of their recordings. Let's take a listen. Coming in at number 4, we have my own personal favorite, Leo Vinci. You'd think that since I slapped on Leo Vinci on my Project FZ07 and what had one on my FZ09 that I'd rank them number 1, huh? Well, even I in good consciousness cannot be such a shill. Leo Vinci has a long history with motorsport, they make a quality pipe, and in my opinion are massively underrated. They take risks with their design, like our double canister system on the FZ, and I think more folks should check them out. But that's precisely what hurt them in our ranking is that they are just not that well known and don't sell as much as the other brands we will mention. However, let's get some sound clips for Leo Vinci. <laughs> Now we're really coming down to the wire in third place by my completely unscientific rankings, we have SC Project. In many people's eyes, the SC Project exhaust is the undisputable lattice exhaust system you can slap on your motorcycle. And honestly, from sound clips that I'd heard, they'd be right. The SC Project has a fair price point, sounds great, and has a clean aesthetic. But our number two and number one spots are such powerhouses we really had to place them third. Riding with Tom can tell you all about how nasty his s 1000 R sounds with the Project SC exhaust. I don't even know if he has that bike anymore. They're used on tracks all around the world and have some diehard fans. Let's listen. Now our penultimate spot goes to Yoshimura. The Japanese brand is one of the largest volume of motorcycle exhaust sellers in the world. They're used in race series throughout the world and the red badge has become absolutely iconic for your exhaust systems. In my opinion, Yoshimura dominates so much because they are synonymous with big four motorcycles, Suzuki in particular. So I think that definitely lends credence to their dominance in sales as well, but the Yoshis definitely back up these huge numbers with an exhaust tone that anyone can get behind. Deep, refined, and affordable. If you have a Japanese bike, you really cannot go wrong with a Yoshi pipe. Let's listen. And you might be wondering, boy, he's mentioned quite a few different exhaust systems. What could possibly be coming in as our number one pick? If you're an avid enthusiast, you most likely know the answer. Our number one pick for an aftermarket exhaust system has to go to Akrapovich. Akrapovich is a name that's known throughout both motorcycling and the car world. A very notable Royal Jordanian slaps one of these handcrafted beautiful systems on each and every one of his rides, so if you want to hear what he thinks, head over to his channel. Akrapovich is a relatively new player on the scene but has quickly found itself at the forefront of innovative materials technology. They employ over a thousand people, which is absolutely crazy to me, so you know you get the benefit of economies of scale when it comes to buying systems from them. The badge is a symbol of quality and many people would equate them as the Ferrari of motorcycles. And there's a reason they have diehard devoted fans throughout the world. Simply put, they make an awesome product that has an awesome sound. So let's listen.
Some honorable mentions for today's video includes Termignoni, Aero and Austin Racing, which Austin Racing actually makes my personal favorite exhaust system for the R1. I literally watch this video at least once a week to try to convince myself that I don't need a cross plane in my life. <laughs> That's going to wrap it up for today, folks. Those are our picks for the top exhaust systems for your bike. And yes, before you flame me in the comments, this is all just my opinion. Yes, it is biased, and everything is biased in this world. Don't agree with my choices? Post up a comment, or even better, post up a video and let me know why not. I'd be curious to hear it. As always, i got to hit you guys with our Beginner Bike Giveaway series. We have an FC07 ready to give away, unless it's already been given away. I'm writing this video really far in advance, so we might not have the FC. It has a full system slapped on it if you want the chance to win a bike capable of these amazing dulcet tones. Hit up the link below to get started. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Fact. I am actually writing this on a plane. I don't have access to my facts, so this is a factless video. I'm sorry. Sad. Goodbye. <laughs>